In this problem, we are given a grid of n times n squares, where each 1 times 1 square is either a blank space or contains a slash or a backslash. These characters divide the squares into different regions, and the goal is to count the number of commented regions in the grid. To solve this question, we first divide each 1 times 1 square into 4 regions, north, east, west, and south. The intuition behind this problem is to treat slashes as boundaries that separate regions. For example, if a square contains a slash, you can think of it as a boundary that separates a square into two parts, one containing the north and west regions, and one containing the south and east regions. Thus, we can find and merge the regions together when they are separated by different characters. If two horizontally adjacent squares both contain slashes, we know that each square gets separated into two parts, and thus, the east and south region of the left square will get merged with the north and west region of the right square. In this case, the two squares will have a total of three connected regions. To accomplish this, the best way is to use the UnionFind method. UnionFind data structure keeps track of the number of connected regions. If you're not familiar with UnionFind, check out the link in the description to learn about how it works and the standard template to implement UnionFind. There are many ways to implement UnionFind data structure, so you are free to choose any implementation that you feel comfortable with. In our code, we will store the roots of each region in a dictionary, where the keys are the regions and the values are their roots. Initially, each region is its own root. When two regions are union together, their roots become the same. We will denote each region with the tuple i, j direction. For example, 0, 0, n represents the north region of the square on the first row and the first column. After that, we will iterate over the squares of the grid and use the union operation to merge the regions based on the characters given. For each square, if the character is slash, we connect the north region to the west region and connect the south region to the east region of the square. Else if the character is black slash, we connect the north region to the east region and connect the south region to the west region of the square. Else, if the character is blank space, we connect four regions together. We know that for two horizontally adjacent squares, the east region of the left square will always be connected to the west region of the right square, no matter what the combination of the character is. Also, for two vertically adjacent squares, the south region of the top square will always be connected to the north region of the bottom square, no matter what the combination of the character is. To get the answer, we can count the number of distinct roots among all regions in the dictionary. This is done by mapping the find operation to all regions in the union find data structure, selecting their unique items with the set operations, and finding the length of the set. And that's it! This is a simple but effective solution to the region cuts by slashes problem. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching.